Telestream Wirecast is a great live encoder and real-time production switcher. One of my favorite uses with Wirecast is with Skype. That allows me to interview guests and bring in real-time Skype calls. The first thing you have to do is start Skype. You start Skype first because that allows Desktop Presenter, a utility in Wirecast that brings in the Skype calls, to see the Skype window. The next important thing is setting up Skype itself. That involves opening preferences, selecting your mic input for Skype. Now the mic input you use for Skype can also go to Wirecast. The camera input can't though. So you have to consider either dedicating a second camera solely to Skype so your guests can see you or using a dummy camera. In this case, since I'm going to use a Logitech camera in Wirecast, I'm going to set up a dummy camera. This means my guests won't be able to see me, but they will be able to hear me and I will be able to see them and bring them into Wirecast. And that's my dummy camera. In this case, I'm using a program called ManyCam. Now I'm going to start Wirecast and Desktop Presenter. And that's Wirecast. Now I launch Desktop Presenter. I'll bring that over here. I'll set it to window mode. And now it's pointing towards the application Skype, the window Skype. And it's set to capture audio. This is important because this is how we bring in the Skype audio. I'm going to call my guest Skype Bear. Now I have to help Skype Bear answer the phone. Hi, Skype Bear. As you can see over here, this is my dummy camera. We can get that out of the shot by clicking this over here. I can see Skype Bear, although Skype Bear can't see me, he can hear me. Now I'm going to add my Skype shot. I go down here, and this is the name of my Skype shot. And there it is. Now that's a pretty ugly looking shot. So I'm going to want to edit it. This is my shot editor. I'm going to crop it. And I want to make the Skype caller full screen. But I want to fill in this empty space on the top and bottom. So I'm going to add a background. I click on this icon, which allows me to add video files. Then I click on this, add video. Here's my background. I'm going to add another layer. Make sure it's below. I'm going to make sure the background fills out a little bit. Now I'm going to add a title to my Skype guest. Let's find a number of backgrounds I have choices from. Ah, let's choose this one. Hit text. Make the font a little bit bigger.
and there is my improved Skype shot. Another thing I want to do is make sure I see my master audio meters. Now Skype Air doesn't talk very much, so we're not going to see the meters move. Now I'm going to want to have a shot of me and a two shot. I'll make my canvas 16 by 9. Now there's Skype Bear. And now there's me. Now we'll create a two shot. Select the cameras. I'll put me on the left. Skype bear on the right. Once again, that's not a great looking shot. We'll crop it. Now I'm going to use some key commands and stretch it out so the shots look similar. And again, we'll add a background. Let's make that fill it out. We'll go up and add a title. me and Skype Bear. Now another important thing is the audio. My microphone. Right now I have Skype Bear and his audio here. I have Skype Bear and his audio here. But my audio isn't here. And my audio isn't here either. I'm going to add a master layer with my audio. And this is my webcam audio. And as you can see, the meters are moving. What that allows me to do now is I can go from Skype Bear shot, and even if he's talking on camera by himself, I can talk to him off camera. Here's my shot, and here's the two of us, and you can see by the meters that I'm talking. So this is how you can do a live Skype interview, switched interview, composited, with Skype Air title and background, desktop presenter bringing in Skype audio, and master layer bringing in my audio in the background my shot I could add a title to that if I wanted to and me with the guest again with a background with titles desktop presenter bringing in Skype audio and my webcam in a master layer bringing in my audio and that's how you can use Wirecast with Skype to interview guests